Hi, hello there. Welcome to Introduction to Operating Systems. On this video lecture, we will be talking about what operating systems do, computer system organization, computer system architecture, the operating system operations, resource management, security and protection, virtualization, distributed systems, kernel data structures, computing environments, and the free or libre and open source operating systems. At the end of this video lecture, you should be able to describe the general organization of a computer system and the role of interrupts. Second, describe the components in a modern multiprocessor computer system. Third, illustrate the transition from user mode to kernel mode. Next would be discuss how operating systems are used in various computing environments and provide examples of free and open source operating systems. Let's get started. Let's start with the definition of an operating system. So what is an operating system? So I have here different versions or different um, operating systems vendors like Windows from Microsoft, you've got Linux, all right? So Red Hat, Mac OS, FreeBSD, Solaris, and so on. So we have a lot of operating systems. So what is the role of an operating systems in a computer system? So basically an operating system is defined as a program that acts as the intermediary between the user of a computer and the computer hardware. So basically, the operating system is the translator, okay, between the device or the hardware and the user, okay? So these are the operating system goals. So execute programs and make solving user problems easier. Second, make the computer systems convenient to use. Third, use the computer hardware in an efficient manner. Now imagine your computer without an operating systems. How can you run? How can you execute? And how can you play okay, applications on your computer? Okay, so how can you navigate onto the computer systems? And how would you manage the, the resources in the computer systems? So basically, that's what an operating system is. If we are going to look at the technical side of it, operating system is the one who manages the resources of a computer. Okay, so we will go into a deep discussion of those roles. Next would be computer system structure. So basically your computer systems is divided into four components. So you've got hardware, you've got operating system, application programs, and users. Now for the hardware, hardware is any tangible components in a computer system. So it provides basic computing resources. Now in operating system, you will often heard the word resources. Resources is anything that can be shared to other applications, to other programs on your system. It includes the CPU time, the memory, okay, I.O. devices, all of those can be shared. Next would be the operating system. So operating system controls and coordinates use of hardware among various applications and users. So as what I'm saying earlier, the operating system is the one who manages the resources. If we are going to have an analogy with the traffic, okay, with the car traffic, on the road so the operating system is a traffic controller or traffic enforcer okay so next would be application programs it defines the ways in which the system resources are used to solve the computer problems of the users so word processors compilers web browsers database systems video games all of those are application programs and these application programs it's a lot of resources okay for instance games games are often consuming a lot of memory 
resources. So the operating system is the one who is responsible for the allocation of those resources to these application programs. Okay, so if the application program needs to run, it defines or it asks for the amount of memory from the operating systems. Okay, and the last one would be the users. Users pertains to people or the end user. People wear, but sometimes it is also a machine. Okay, or another computer. Now let's talk about the abstract view of components of a computer systems. Okay, so basically we have users, application programs, operating systems, and computer hardware. So we could say that computer is a hardware plus the operating system plus apps plus users. So OS serves as interface between the hardware and the apps and users. So OS provides services for apps and users. OS manages resources. So a government model, it doesn't produce anything. Okay. So debates about what is included in the operating system. So just the kernel or everything the vendor ships. Is that it? Consider the distinction between system applications and third party or user apps. Right? So basically the user interacts with the application program traversing through the operating systems and to the hardware. No user can communicate directly with a computer hardware. Okay, so it, it should pass us through application programs and operating systems. What operating systems do? So depends on the point of view. So users want convenience, ease of use in good performance, especially to those who are a gamer and those who are rendering videos on their computer. They don't care about resource utilization, especially if you have a lot or ample amount of resources to use. So but shared computers such as mainframe or mini computer must keep all users happy. Operating system is a resource allocator and control program, making efficient use of hardware and managing execution of user programs. So users of dedicated systems such as the workstations have dedicated resources, but frequently used shared resources are from the servers. So mobile devices like smartphones and tablets are resource poor, optimized for usability and battery life. So mobile user interfaces such as touchscreen, voice recognitions, those are uh, under mobile devices or tablets. So some computers have little or no user interface such as the embedded computers in devices and automobiles. So it runs primarily without user intervention. Defining an operating system. So the term OS covers many roles because of Myriad design and uses of OSS. So it might be present in toasters through ships, spacecrafts, okay, game machines, TVs, and industrial control system. So born when fixed use computers for military became more general purpose and needed resource management and program control. Okay. Now let us define an operating system based on the perspective of an IT people. So no universally accepted definition for the operating system. Okay, so everything a vendor ships when you order an operating system is a good approximation, but varies wildly. Okay, so the one program running at all times on a computer is what you call kernel. Kernel is part of the operating system. So everything else is either a system program or an application program. Okay. So system program ships with the operating system, but not part of the kernel. Application program, all programs not associated with the operating systems. So one definition that I would give with the operating system is that my operating system is my resource allocator. 
when you say resource allocator, it manages and allocates resources. I would also define an operating system as the one who controls the program. Controlling program controls the execution of user programs and operations of I.O. devices. Some define uh, an operating system as a kernel, the one program that is running at all times, or else being an application programs. Okay, so today's OSS for general purpose and mobile computing also include middleware. This is a set of software or software frameworks that provide addition services or additional services to applications, developers, such as databases, multimedia, graphics, etc. 